the 2024 civil service examination question paper and what is the trend analysis so basically we will try to firstly understand that what other questions have been asked from these sections hello everyone welcome to plutus is today we will discuss the 2024 civil service examination question paper and what is the trend analysis so basically we will try to first understand that what other questions have been asked from these sections question have been asked okay but in this video today i am especially primarily discussing the questions that had been asked from the history and art and culture section only so i won't be discussing all the topic all the topic had already been discussed in our plutus channel website uh, yesterday and it is also available on the plutus is youtube channel okay so you can go through that so firstly let us have a look that how many questions have been asked from which area conference area se conference questions hain and then we will discuss what are the questions have been asked from history sections in san medieval modern uh, post independent and all and then we will go into the one by one okay so let us have a trend discussion on the trend analysis so you can see this one this is a basically trend analysis of the question that had been asked yesterday in the upsc civil service examination gs paper 1 this students what are you finding is that the most important questions the the most important topic in which questions have been asked it is geography in the geography there are 20 questions have been asked okay when apart from geography we have indian polity from the indian polity we have 18 questions have been asked economy we have 15 questions are there current affair plus 15 plus 5 is there in the current affair in the history sections 14 questions have been asked including art and culture plus current affair including art and culture plus current affair the two of the questions were from the current affairs only so we can say that it is 9 plus 5 in the history sections uh, environment and ecology there is a 10 questions are there science and tech 8 questions have been there so this is briefly a trend analysis of the 100 questions that are, that were there in the UPSC yesterday examination okay apart from this one you know that history has six divisions right? ancient medieval modern post independent art and culture and uh, world history are there you know that world history is not a part of a uh, prelims examination right world history is not a part of prelims examination it is only there in the mains examination gs paper one okay mains examination mein aate hai. it is not so we have five important part ancient medieval modern post independent and art and culture do you know student apart from this uh, five main chapters that we, we five main divisions in the history we have in ancient India, there were two questions were there, okay. And if we if we add art and culture, if we add art and culture in the ancient India, and that is added there, at right? So at least three questions were there, okay. So we have ancient India, two questions, medieval India. One question is there that we will discuss in detail. It is related to the Krishna Dev Raya. That is a Vijayanagar path Krishna Dev Raya and plus the party rules modern india we have three questions are there post independent one question and art and culture is the most dominant in this section that is a seven questions have been asked from the art and culture only so this is a basically a trend analysis of the history topic so what we have seen in the previous slide we have seen that how many questions are there uh, there are 100 questions in which the 14 questions are there from history and the art and culture plus current affair topic okay out apart from this 14 but we have seen that these are the two is from ancient one is from medieval three is from modern post independent one and art and culture section has seven questions have been there okay now let us discuss in detail that which are the questions and what is the detailed analysis of that questions how the questions are there how to answer this question okay apart from these 14 questions have been there apart from this 14 question if we talk about how was the question if we talk about eg if we talk about moderate okay and then if we talk about tough three are the level of the questions are there okay in this one i can say that seven questions are easy okay five questions were moderate and two questions were tough to answer 
especially in this examination okay so let us have a discussion of one by one the question is the constitution 71st amendment 1992 amends the eighth schedule of the indian constitution to include which of the following languages you know that there are 22 schedule languages are there in the eighth schedule of the indian constitution okay in the 1992 when this was amended these three were the language which were added okay these three languages were added in the 1992 okay whereas this mathly language was added very later okay so mathly language will not be our answer because it was added through the 92nd amendment 92nd amendment that was held in 2003 okay so this is this will not be the answer of ours so we can see this one four where is four not there this is false this is false this is false so answer of this question will be a only right so a is the answer of this question because monthly we will not include in this one this question was a little bit easy easy tha because we discuss this topic in the art and culture in detail so when we do art and culture especially the language part then we discuss in detail this topic and this we have discussed in our uh, art and culture uh, test series also okay so this question was in mentioned in the test series of the polluter size of the art and culture also the next question that this is also a very easy question and this is very easy question some people say that it is a it is a part of political science also but no we discussed this question in the last chapter of our modern india right so this chap this question will be from modern india who was the pro uh, the provisional president of the constituent assembly before dr rajinder prasad okay to cover the one so answer of this question is very easy this is the sachita nansinna he was the most senior most member of the constituent assembly he but made the interim chairman and then when the Rajinder Prasad was elected as the president, he was elected as a president, this person was removed and Rajinder Prasad became the permanent president of the constituent assembly. So the answer to this question is D. Next question we have, with reference to the government of India 8th 1935, consider the following statement. This question is also moderate. It is not so much easy, but it is not a tough question because we discussed in the class about it. So this is a moderate question. The question says it provided for the establishment of all india federation based on the based on the union of the british indian provinces british indian provinces means there were 11 provinces by this time right and the princely states so it was there this was to be supposed but it was not possible so this provision was there but it was could not be possible and it could not be made implemented implementations for us are tough tha implementation was very tough but this statement will be true for us the second statement say the defense and foreign affairs were kept under the control of the federal legislature defense and foreign affairs were kept under the control of the federal legislature in this time let me tell you there were the federal executive federal executive this was headed by the governor general okay and then they were responsible to the British crown. So there were the subjects like communication and defense, foreign affairs and the British Indian Army also. They were kept under the federal executive. It was not under the federal legislator. Right? Legislator can under the bulky federal executive. The executive has the all power upon the foreign affairs and the defense. So this statement will be false for us. The statement is false. So answer of this question is only A is the answer of this question. Okay, so when we discuss the second one see this one this question uh, this question is also very much easy a question for easy the question is which one of the following is a work of work attributed to playwright vas vas ka jo jo writer hai unke uh, playwright kya hai matlab which of the which that is had been written by the vas okay is question ka answer jara aap dekhte hain is answer hoga madhyam vyog will be the answer of this question okay so where the madhyam vyog is the answer of this question whereas the other tests are also there so if you discuss about this the travel and car the, the, the travel and car this is not written by vas but it is written by the bahama so it is written by Bahama. Nartya Sastra is written by Bharat Muni. 
Bharat Muni is the one he has written Nat Sas. Okay, if you discuss about the fourth test, है ना? That is a this is a major commentary on the grammar of Panani, है ना? And this is a commentary on the grammar of Panani. You know that Panani was uh, Panani has written Ashtadhyayi. So this book is called this Mahabhas is a book that is written on the as a commentary on the Panani Ashtadhyayi. And this is not written by Bhas, but it is uh, written by the, the it is it is a major commentary of the grammar and written by patanjali hai na so the answer will not be that one so answer will not be there so answer of this one is patanjali okay so the answer of this question will be c only that we have the madhyam beyog is the answer of this question what is the things are there in this world is book mein kya hai this madhyam bhoj is a one eighth play it is a classical sanskrit drama and it is also known for many such writings and is me mahabharat ramayan in sab ke themes include hue hain so this is a madhyam bear is the answer of this question question 5 was uh, also easy we have the sangbhuti we discuss in the art and culture part about this one he is an indian buddhist monk who traveled to china at the end of the 4th century ad 4th century and do you remember in the 4th century ad but we had we had the gupta empire was ruling okay and the, he has written something so he was the author of a commentary on kis commentary pe ye author the the answer of this question will be the pradya parmita sutra is the answer of this question whereas all these three books are related to the different different persons if i discuss in detail that what are the other books have been written by different different persons uh, firstly let me tell you about the the bisu dhimaga ha na it is a comprehensive writing of the theravada buddhism okay and it is written by the buddha ghosh okay this writing is written by the buddha ghosh ha na so we have the this writing called the bisu vidama we have the bisu dhimaga is written by buddha ghosh then we have sarasati vinay sarasati we have we discuss the we have the sar we have the sir vastivada vinay this sir vastivada vinay is a writing that is also not written by this person it is a writing that is a uh, written by the tatyan muni putra na so it is a, it is a part of the philosophy and it is a part of philosophy that is compiled of the tatya ni putra na so we have the tatyan muni putra will be the answer of this one we founded this set and when we discuss about the lalita vistara when we discuss lalita vistara it is a uh, sanskrit mahayana buddhist sutra that tells the story of the many such parts kai sare cheez ke story batati hai and this is a text that is not written by one such person but it is written by different different persons kai sare persons milke isko find kiye theek hai the answer of this question is that one hamara answer ho jayega so answer of this question is a when we discuss question sets consider the following properties included into the world heritage list released by the unesco shanti niketan uh, ram ki wow sacred influence of hosialas and we have the mahabodhi temple just a minute we have the mahabodhi temple complex at bodhriya okay the four sites have been there how many of the our properties were included in 2023 only one only two only three all four yes when do you know if you read the newspaper and current affair of this time you will be able to find that only two of the sites were included in 2023 sirf do hi sites jo hai 23 mein include hua tha the site number santin ketan which is there in karnat which is there in west bengal founded by devendranath tagore and we have sacred influence of hosialas it is there in karnataka okay karnataka whereas we discuss we have discussed in detail about this question in our art and culture test series and this questions have been asked do you know out of 14 questions have been asked uh, five questions we have discussed in our test series and that questions have been asked in the examination okay when we discuss about other topic other dusri topic ki baat kare especially when we discuss about the other list that is the example of the rani ki bow it was not included in the 2023 whereas rani ki bow was included into the 2014 है ना 14 में इसको इंक्लूड किया था सो दिस विल नॉट बी द आंसर 14 सो दिस इज फॉल्स ओके व्हेन यू डिस्कस अबाउट महाबोधि टेंपल कॉम्प्लेक्स की बात करें व्हेन यू डिस्कस अबाउट महाबोधि टेंपल कॉम्प्लेक्स इट वाज नॉट इंक्लूडेड रिसेंटली इट वाज इंक्लूडेड वेरी पास्ट बहुत पहले इंक्लूड किया गया था दिस वाज देयर इन द 2002 सो क्रोनोलॉजी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी ओनली 2 इज द आंसर of this question next question is related to 
with reference to the ancient India, Gautam Buddha was generally known by which of the following epithets? है ना Gautam Buddha किसके लिए? तो न्याय पुत्र जो है महावीर इज नोन फॉर द न्याय पुत्र महावीर इज द वन हु वॉज नोन फॉर न्याय पुत्र एंड दिस टू साक्ट्य मुनि दैट ही वॉज बॉर्न इन द साक्ट्यपुलिक लैन एंड वी हैव द तथा दता सो दिस टू आर द नेम फॉर विच गौतम बुद्ध हैड बीन नोन वेन बी डिस्कस अबाउट दिस वर्ड कॉल तथा दता है ना इट इज अ वेरी कॉमन एपिथेट ऑफ गौतम बुद्धा तथा दथा मतलब होता है दस ग्रोन और दस काम मतलब आओ जा दस काम एंड दस ग्रो एंड इट इज अ टर्म यूज बाई बुद्धा टू रिफर हिमसेल्फ often indicating that one who has transcended worldly existence and achieved enlightenment matlab aap aaye ho to jaoge something is uh, not permanent it is enemy ka the world is enemy ka it is constant changing aana hai to jana hai important hai tabhi hum tatha gata is a terms that means that thus grown matlab thus aap jao aaye ho to jaoge so these two are the words refers to the gautam buddha so answer of this question is b uh, will be the Two and three, है ना? Two and three will be the answer of this question. B is the answer of this question. This was also it was moderate, है ना? थोड़ा सा moderate group में था. Next question is related to the sites. We have the Chandra Ketu Ghat Odisha. This is situated in Bengal, and of course it is a trading port town. Okay. In Amgong, this is in Maharashtra. It is also a Indus Valley town, and it is it is a cultivated site. We have the Mangadu. It is in Kerala Falls. This is in Tamil Nadu. Okay, this is this will be in the Tamil Nadu, and it is a megalithic site. Then we have then we have the the Sali Hundam. It is in Andhra Pradesh. The the point it is in Andhra Pradesh. So it will be uh, it is in Andhra Pradesh too, and but it is not a rock cut shrine, but it is a Buddhist sites. It is a Buddhist site. Okay, do you know so student? What will be the answer of this question? You can see this one. If we understand this properly, if we are sure, sahi se padhe, then we are finding that only one question is properly true. Na, we are finding that only one question is properly true. So, what should be the answer of this question? If we are sure, sahi se padhe, then we are finding that only one question is properly true. So, when we discuss, some people say that it is a little confusing because it is the only. So, see, uh, two is perfectly true. Two to sahi hai, hai na? But the one is not true. One is not true because it is in West Bengal. So one bala statement, our false will be there. Okay, one bala statement, our false will be there. Then the remaining part, the four is also the four may be true. We can say that we have the Sali Hundam, Andhra Pradesh. It may be a rock cut shrine, but no, it is a it is not a rock cut shrine, but it is a Buddhist site. Na, confusing is here. The question can be uh, some type of mistake here. But we will wait for the final answer here, and then we will be able to find. So the question is saying in which of the above rods is the given information correctly matched? So one and two will be false because one is false here. It is not in Odisha, but it is in Bengal. Na Chaturvedi Ghat. Then we have two and three. Okay, two and three. We have seen that. यहाँ पे इट इज इन तमिलनाडु नॉट इन दिस वन है ना केरला में नहीं है है ना देन बट बी सिंस थ्री द फोर इज फॉल्स हेयर द फोर कैन बी आंसर सो बट द ट्रू इज हंड्रेड परसेंट ट्रू इनाम गाँव जो है इट इज ट्रू इट इज अ चलचुलेसिड साइट बट इट इज अ आई बी सी साइट ऑल्सो इट वॉज अ आई बी सी साइट ऑल्सो तो द आंसर फॉर नाउ वी टेक अप दैट टू एंड थ्री कैन बी द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन बट द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन कैन बी थ्री एंड फोर ऑल्सो फॉर सम टाइम थ्री बट थ्री इज नॉट टू यू नो तो दिस स्टेटमेंट इज ट्रू परफेक्टली सो आंसर हमारा दो और तीन हो सकता है इसका वी विल वेट फॉर द फाइनल आंसर की ऑफ द पी एच डी एंड देन वी विल बी एब टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस वर्ल्ड ओके देन लेट एस डिस्कस नाइन हु ऑफ द फॉलोइंग रूलर्स ऑफ मिडिवल इंडिया गेव द पॉटिक्यूज टू बिल्ड अ फोर्ट एट द भातकल रीजन भातकल में फोर्ट एक क्वेश्चन जो है थोड़ा सा मॉडरेट से ऊपर जाएगा बिकॉज ये इंपॉर्टेंट साइट ऐसा है दैट वी डू नॉट डिस्कस इन डिटेल इन द क्लास बट दिस क्वेश्चन हैव बीन आस ओके डू यू नो इट इज अ कृष्ण देव राय हु साइन अ ट्रीटी विद द पॉटिक रूज इन दिफ्टीन हंड्रेड टेन ओके द टाइम पीरियड ऑफ कृष्ण देव राय इज फिफ्टीन जीरो नाइन टू फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी इट इज अ टाइम पीरियड ऑफ दिस राय इन फिफ्टीन टेंटीन ही हैड साइन अ ट्रीटी एंड देन ही हैव गिवन इम दिस ट्रीटी अलाउड द पॉटिक रूज अंडर द अल्फेंसो डी अलबुर की टू कंस्ट्रक्ट फोर्ट्स एट भातकल है ना इट इज अ वेरी स्ट्रेटेजिकल पॉइंट फॉर द पॉटिक रूज देर आफ्टर यू नो दैट इन द फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी है ना वी हैव द दमिंगो पायस डी नंबर दमिंगो पायस एंड फॉर नाउन ओनीज है ना ही केम हेयर ही केम इन द 
court and he visited Krishna Dev Rai, hai na? So this is very important point. So Krishna Dev Rai had a very friendly relation with these people. Baad mein chalke, uh, inhone Gurwal court ko shikar Krishna Dev Rai also supported the Portuguese people, hai na? Portuguese people uh, to to conquest Goa. So Goa ke conquest mein bhi inhone support kiya. You know that Goa was under the control of uh, the Bijapur kingdom by this time. So Bijapur se inhone Goa ko conclude kar liya tha. So answer of this question is uh, A will be the answer of this. Question, okay then we have with reference to the revenue collection by Cornwallis consider the following statement see they are asking about Cornwallis revenue settlement club I 1793 that is a permanent settlement right here they are asking Rathwari settlement of revenue collection the peasants were exempted from revenue payment in case of bad in, in case of bad harvest and natural calamities hai na? A statement falls for the point that this Rehatwari settlement was not brought under the time of the Cornwallis, but it was there by the Thomas Munro. Okay, so it is a Thomas Munro who had brought this settlement, and as an answer, this answer will be false for us. Here, we false here. And this is true that, yeah, if the Jamindar failed to pay his revenue, his estates will be confiscated under the Sunset Law, right? Sunset Law. So this question was very easy. A question was easy. Tha. So answer of this question will be B. Only two will be the answer of this question. Then we have consider the following statement. There are no the parables in the Upanishad. Parables matlab hota hai. If you discuss the main meaning of the parables, the answer will be no. It will be false. Hai na? Kyo false hoga? Because Upanishad uh, has parables. Uh, then we have allegories, stories. So many dramas are there to illustrate their teachings. Apne teaching ko batane ke liye, they use many parables. Parables matlab yaha pe stories, hai na? Gadd pad kar istamal hoga. So parables, but their stories forms mein sab chizat thi upnisad mein. So this is a false. Upnisads but compose earlier than Sith Purana. You know that upnisads are known as Vedanta. Upnisads are known as Vedanta. मतलब इट इज इट इज कंपाइल्ड इन द एंड ऑफ द वेदा वेदा के एंड पे कंपाइल हुआ है सो वेदा वाज कंपोज बाय 600 बीसी सो उपनिषद्स विल बी कंपोज देयर एट ओनली है ना इसी टाइम हुआ था वेयर एज पुराण्स वर कंप्लीटेड एट द टाइम ऑफ द गुप्ता एंड लेटर गुप्ता पीरियड इट इज अ गुप्ता प्लस लेटर गुप्ता लेटर गुप्ता पीरियड सो आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी uh only uh, only two is correct so which of the following statements are correct only two statements are correct in this question okay next question is a current affair it is a part of the art and culture that we have discussed in detail in the class which one of the following was the latest inclusion in the intangible cultural heritage site of india hai na in mein se kaun se sabse jo important hai aur abhi abhi include hua hai iska answer bahut hi simple hai garva will be the answer of this question so this is the one which was included in the year 2023 hai na so 23 mein it is a very important dance that is celebrated in the gujarat region kahan pe hota hai it is celebrated in gujarat and then other parts of india also it is mostly in the gujarat but uh, it is celebrated in all parts of india it happens basically on the festival of the namratri and they celebrate hindu goddess दुर्गा को बहुत पूछते हैं इसमें वेर एज बिन बी डिस्कस अबाउट द अदर डांस अगर आप दूसरे डांस फॉर्म की बात करें है ना दिज ऑल थिंग्स वर नॉट इंक्लूडेड हेयर एट बिन बी डिस्कस छाउ डांस इट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डांस यू नो देर आर नाइन देर आर एट क्लासिकल डांस राइट एंड छाउ डांस इज इंक्लूडेड एज द नाइन्थ क्लासिकल डांस ऑफ इंडिया एज पर द कल्चरल मिनिस्ट्री है ना बट भारत नाट्यम अकेडमी जो है वो अभी आठ ही डांस मानते हैं द छाउ डांस इज अ वेरी पॉपुलर डांस इट इज मोस्टली पॉपुलर इन दिहार बिहार झारखंड उड़ीसा इन सभी पॉपुलर है so chow dance is the one which was declared in the 2010 so this statement hamara also gaya if you discuss about durga puja durga puja is also a very important festival right durga puja jo hai it is mostly there in the kalkatta kalkatta mein hai bahut famous hai aur dusre desh mein dusre rajya mein bhi hota hai but durga puja of kalkatta is the one that is very famous it is included into the unesco intangible site in the 2021 so 2021 हमारा आंसर है। When we discuss कुम्भ मेला, do you know? कुम्भ मेला was included in the 2017. 
सो अफकोर्स आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी दरबार डांस इज द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन अपार्ट फ्रॉम इट वी हैव अदर साइड्स आर देयर जैसे हमारा बुद्धिस्ट स्टैंडिंग ऑफ लद्दाख संकीर्तन ऑफ मणिपुर टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन में हुआ था देन बी एफ योगा नवरोज ये सब इंपॉर्टेंट इंपॉर्टेंट साइट्स है जिसको इंक्लूड किया गया है कल्चरल हेरिटेज साइट में ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ मिडिवल इंडिया ऑल्सो आर्ट एंड कल्चर ऑल्सो कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट कैश यू पपाया रेड सैंडल्स है ना हाउ मेनी ऑफ द अब ट्रीज आर एक्चुअली नेटिव टू इंडिया इनमें से कितने जो चीज़ है वो इंडिया में ठीक है चलो एक एक करके बात करते हैं कैसू की बात करते हैं डी यू नो कैसू इज बिलीव टू हैव ओरिजिनेटेड फ्रॉम नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न ब्राजील एंड ब्राजील से पोर्टिगुज पीपल टेकन टू पोर्टिगुज ब्रिटेन और ब्रिटेन से पोर्टिगुज एक्सप्लोर ब्राउड द कैसू सीट्स फ्रॉम ब्राजील टू गोवा एंड फ्रॉम गोवा इट बेस प्रेडेड एवरीवेयर इन इंडिया तो ब्राजील से सबसे पहले आया बाद में इसी कल्टिवेशन इंडिया में कहाँ होती है गोवा केरला कर्नाटका महाराष्ट्र एंड तमिलनाडु आर द इम्पोर्टेंट स्टेट्स वेयर द कैसूज है सो दिस विल बी फॉल्स जिसे पॉटिग्रूज फिफ्टीन सेंचुरी में लाए थे बेन बी डिस्ट्रेस पपाया पपाया इज ऑल्सो फ्रॉम द मैक्सिको ये मैक्सिको और सेंट्रल अमेरिका से आया है है ना एंड देन पपाया बज ब्राउट हेयर बाय द पोर्टिग्रूज ओनली है ना सो पोर्टिग्रूज एंड द स्पैनिश पीपल हैड ब्राउट पपाया फ्रॉम देयर एंड देन यहाँ से ये अमेरिका किया अमेरिका से ग्रो आया सो पोर्टिग्रूज विल बी द ओन हु विल बी क्रिएटेड फॉर दिस थिंग्स ओके द पपाया इज मोस्टली कल्टिवेटेड इन विच स्टेट्स ऑफ इंडिया मोस्टली तो इफ यू कैन फाइंड दैट देर आर मेनी स्टेट्स आंध्र प्रदेश कर्नाटक गुजरात महाराष्ट्र उत्तर प्रदेश बिहार वेर द पपाया हैड बिन कल्टिवेटेड ओके देन वी हैव रेड सेंटर्स इट इज वेरी कॉमन टू इंडिया बिकॉज ये कहाँ पर होता है वी हैव आंध्र प्रदेश तमिलनाडु के जंगल में बहुत बड़े मात्रा में होता है सो दिस इज दिस इज द तमिलनाडु प्लस आंध्र प्रदेश में एंड इट इज इट इज ऑल्सो मेन्स इन द एंसेंट टाइम है ना सो आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन विल भी दिस सी बी इज द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन सो वनली वन विल बी ट्रू हेयर सिर्फ एक क्वेश्चन इसका आंसर सही होगा लेटेस्ट डिस्कस द लास्ट क्वेश्चन विच हैड बीन आस ऑन द टॉपिक द क्वेश्चन है कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग पेयर भारतीय जनसंघ श्यामा प्रसाद मुखर्जी ही वॉज द इम्पोर्टेंट लीडर ऑफ द इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस ये आई एन सी के इम्पोर्टेंट लीडर थे एंड ही वॉज ऑल्सो द मिनिस्टर इन द फर्स्ट नेहरू कैबिनेट नेहरू की पहली कैबिनेट में ही वॉज ऑल्सो अ मिनिस्टर बट लेटर ऑन ही हैड अ डिफ्रेंसिस ऑफ द व्यू सो ही डिसाइडेड टू रिजाइन फ्रॉम द पार्टी और पार्टी से रिजाइन करके रिसेंटली एक मूवी आई है इसलिए क्वेश्चन इसमें पूछ दिया गया अभी आपने मूवी देखा होगा दैट मूवी इज ऑन द अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी ओके सो द मूवी विच इज ऑन द अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी इन विच ऑल दिस ट्रैक्टर्स हैव बीन सोन इन द डिटेल है ना बहुत डिटेल में इस ट्रैक्टर को बताया गया है तो आंसर यहाँ पे सिंपल एंड क्लियर है इसमें जब जीवन राम को भी दिखाया गया है ना और तो लेटेस्ट सी दिस वन तो श्यामा प्रसाद मुखर्जी द वन हुआ द पार्ट ऑफ कांग्रेस देन द लेटर ऑन ही रिजाइन है ना ओके ही ऑल्सो लेट ही सॉरी ही वॉज ही वॉज अ पार्ट ऑफ द फर्स्ट मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ द कांग्रेस है ना कांग्रेस मिनिस्ट्री में ही वॉज अ मिनिस्टर सो ही रिजाइन फ्रॉम द पोस्ट ऑफ मिनिस्टर ही डिसाइडेड टू फॉर्म अ डिफरेंट पार्टी एंड देन ही मेड एज हेड गेवर हेड गेवर वॉज अ चीफ ऑफ द आर एस एस बाई दिस टाइम एंड देन ही वॉज सपोर्टेड बाई अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी ऑल्सो एंड देन ही फाउंडेड अ पार्टी एंड देन ही डाइड इन द जेल है ना ही प्रोटेस्टर फॉर द कश्मीर इशू एंड ही डाइड इन द जेल ओनली सो दिस इज अ स्टोरी सो दिस इज अ स्टेट ये स्टेटमेंट हमारा ट्रू हो जाएगा सो दिस इज ट्रू सोशलिस्ट पार्टी राजगोपाल चारी सोशलिस्ट पार्टी हमारा राजगोपाल चारी है दिस स्टेटमेंट विल नॉट बी ट्रू है ना ये जो इसमें थोड़ा प्रॉब्लम आएगा कि वाई बिकॉज ही वॉज नॉट एसोसिएटेड विद द सोशलिस्ट पार्टी ही वॉज अ पार्ट ऑफ द कांग्रेस गवर्नमेंट आई एन सी के पार्ट थे एंड ही फाउंड ए स्वतंत्रता पार्टी द सोशलिस्ट पार्टी वॉज लेड बाई द रूलर्स राम मनोहर लोहिया जय बैरस नारायण एक्सेट्रा सो दिस स्टेटमेंट विल बी दिस मैच विल बी फॉल्स इट इज नॉट ट्रू कांग्रेस फॉर डेमोक्रेसी जज जीवन राम ये हमारा ट्रू है दिस इज ट्रू सो जज जीवन राम विल बी द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन ये हमारे यहाँ उल्टा हो गया सोशलिस्ट पार्टी और सीराज रबल तारी दिस पार्टी सो देर द ओनली टू विल बी ट्रू फॉर अस है ना ओनली टू विल बी ट्रू फॉर अस तो सिर्फ दो जो है स्टेटमेंट हमारा द ओनली टू ऑप्शन सर्च करें सो यू हैव सीन दैट दीज आर द फोर्टीन क्वेश्चन हैव बीन आस सो वट डू वी सी कन्वेंशनल हिस्ट्री से बिन बी डिस्कस अबाउट कन्वेंशनल हिस्ट्री एंसेंट मिडिवल मॉडर्न हाउ मेनी क्वेश्चन आर देयर नाइन क्वेश्चन आर देयर आर्ट एंड कल्चर से आर्ट एंड कल्चर से सेवन क्वेश्चन आर देयर जिनमें से पांच तो करंट अफेयर से द फाइव इज फ्रॉम करंट अफेयर ओके
these questions in trend analysis and all you can feel free to comment on the uh, link and the link and then i will be happily able to respond to you my management will respond to you all right so we'll see you in the other video and all the best for the men's examination that you are preparing hereafter thank you so much student thank you for watching this video Thank you.